So yeah, how well it will you know, wash your teeth. Because our breath will cook them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get the teeth clean for y'all real quick. <clears throat> y'all how y'all doing hope y'all glad we made it towards the end of the week not really popping off like that I mean, other than your girl Sarah Palin and McCain and everything they claiming Obama using some mere tactics in the whole election campaign. But you know, my thing is, what do they call themselves doing? I mean, they sitting up here, you know, calling him all kinds of celebrities and stuff and saying he's not really for the people. You know, when I say politics is a dirty game. You know, it's a real dirty game. And Gotta be a dirty motherfucker to get involved in some politics. That's my word right there. But, um, you know, let's see what's, what's going on this weekend. You know, we got brand new, got some new fresh movies coming out. Tyler Perry got a new movie coming out. As does, um, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Run Before Reading. That's how the new Tyler Perry movie, by the way, is The Family That Prays. Um, we'll see what else. And some more movies. We're talking about that at work today. New movies coming up this weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, week two of the NFL this weekend. Um, hopefully the Ravens game won't get rained out because of Ike and everything. You know, because Ike is looming around Houston area. And I'm hoping that the Ravens game will still be able to get played. All that good stuff. What else? Um, I don't know. It's one thing I hate about, you know, I'm going to be going to work and everything, and I ride transportation because, you know, I had this thing about people driving and stuff. You know, people in the state of Maryland, in my opinion, can't drive all that well. And. You know, I just don't trust them on the road, so I'll just deal with the whole hustle and bustle of public transportation until I feel comfortable getting behind the wheel and actually driving and stuff like that. I don't know how some people do it, but people in this state, it's like really reckless. You know, you be thinking like you be on the Indy 500 the way you people be speeding and stuff. I don't know, just can't trust them. Um, what else? Oh, what? Everybody pay close attention to this book right here called A Piece of Cake. Now, this book is about, you know, it's a, a young lady. She, what's what I can say? You know, her mother died. She was shuffled around the system. She had things that you can name off. She was a prostitute. Well, so she said she turned tricks, was an alcoholic, doing drugs. Hell, she was um she was banging too. She was a crip, I think. And she had like a bunch of nine to five jobs. And now when I look and then we read this story, it tells how she's she did all that and now she's practicing law in one of the nation's largest law firm and she lives in San Francisco so it goes to tell you that 
You're never too old <clears throat> to follow your dreams and everything. It's one thing about that I really can't stand. I mean, I ain't gonna say I can't stand about people as a pet peeve of mine is when you hear somebody say, you know, I'm too old. I can't do this no more. I can't do that. And you know, when I graduated from my from community college in May, uh, it was the, our oldest graduate was 73 years old. Now, 73 years old is retirement age. You know, you want to kick back, relax, do things with your grandkids. This woman graduated with us, and you know that's just amazing. You know, she's that age and she got her degree and everything. And it's like should be no reason why, you know, if you're between the ages of 25 and like 35 or whatever, you know, 25 or older, you can't sit here and be saying, you know, I'm too old, I can't do this, I can't do that. It's no excuse. You need to get up off your ass and just go. You know, take your butt down to the local community colleges Ask them for help. That's what the people are there to get paid for. They help you out, get you set up, and be on your merry way. You know, my only thing about me is that I wish I could have went to college straight out of high school. I didn't, so you know now it's like kind of like she didn't like she didn't she look at I mean the girl in the book she took it took her years to finish you know to finish the courses that she had to take for college and everything. And then she never finished school. She never finished high school or nothing like that. She was just, you know, she had a hard life, but she bounced back and she's doing law. You can't get no better than that, you know? You know, some people, they just tend to get lazy and everything, and they just sit here and play the cards dealt to them, you know, instead of reshuffling the deck and trying to get a new outlook. So, you know... You run that age, you know, get up, get out, get something. Like outcast and goody mob said back in the day. But that's a whole nother different story right there. Um it's nothing else. I wanna go to the little brother show. I'm hoping that I can I'm hoping that I still be able to go to the show. Hoping. See Fonte. You know, rapper Big Pool, you know, go see them. Guys are pretty cool. Some pretty good rappers. MCs. You know, it's my favorite rap group right there. And the next concert, hopefully, be Joe Buttons. I gotta get to the Joe Button show. Joe Buttons the MOP show. Now, that's gonna be a concert, you know, for the ages right there. You know. Joe Joe Buttons, you know, staple in New Jersey, doing his thing, everything. And you got MOP been putting it out for years. You know, they ain't dropping an album in some years, but you know, Ace has been doing their dang thing. You know, they still got classics, you know. And he up, yeah, that fool, you know. And the next concert I'm trying to go to, well, I know I'm going to be sure I'm going to this one, is The Roots and Gym Class Heroes. So, yeah, I saw both of those acts last year in concert. I saw it was, um, the Roots, Little Brother, and Lupe Fiasco at the Lyric in March of 2007. And then I saw Jim Class Heroes along with Fall Out Boy, um, Plain White Tees, Cues What We Aim For. And I think Tigger was with Jim Class Heroes. He was out there rapping. I didn't know who he was at first. I just seen him. They came out there bouncing around doing the dance to the Soldier Boy and everything. But I think that was Tigger that was there doing everything. But you know, I'm trying to go see. That show, October 3rd, I think it is. Yeah, Murray gonna be down here October 8th with um, the boy um, Robin Thick. Nelly pulled me down here September 30th, but you know, that's for the ladies and everything. You might as see Brass Knuckles. Ooh. What else? Well, hopefully, I'll be able to upload this video, you know. MySpace and YouTube are acting real gay and everything, so I don't know. So I'm gonna try. I'm hoping that this gets posted. So, all you people have a great weekend, and I'll catch you on the flip side.